guys, so this is going to be a review of the um, Speedball um, by We Are Sports. Now, from this time, that from recording, this time of recording, right now as I'm recording it, it is out of stock, unfortunately. It's out of stock on Amazon and also on their website as well because they have an Amazon account. Also, um, they also have um, a normal website. Do bear in mind if it does come in stock, you might want to go for the Amazon one because it's a little bit cheaper, um, like two pound cheaper than um, if you get it directly from the website. But now you can't get it unfortunately. But I really want to do this review anyway. So you know, after you know, if they get more in, which I don't know with high demands and everything like that, you can pick one up. So first off, so. You may or may not heard of a speed ball. So a speed ball is basically so usually you can have them attached to the wall. The most common ones where you've probably seen in boxing gyms or you've seen it in videos where they're kind of attached to the ceiling and you punch them really fast. With one on a stand, there's different things you can you can do with to do with it. So you can practice your footwork, um, blocking that sort of thing. I actually use it to practice my um, footwork on it. So that's basically initially of what. The thing is so how it works so the way you how it works <laughs> sorry my mind's just bundled up so when it comes to um putting it together it's straightforward um the base you can fill it with water or sand now i filled it with water i didn't fully fill it to the top i would say it's probably like halfway it does still move around a little bit if i do hit it quite hard which that's not potentially what a speed ball is supposed to be anyway. If you want to hit some hit a bag hard, it you're more likely to want to get a heavy bag, just because they can withstand a lot more, you know, heavy hits. Hence why it's called a heavy bag. Whereas speed ball, if you're gonna carry on hitting it really hard, it's not gonna last that long. Another top tip as well. Every time you use it, before you use it, just make sure that it is on tight because sometimes it can loosen. Um, which I've noticed so make sure before you use it and um, the next day or wherever to make sure that it's screwed on tightly it is a dust a dust it is adjustable as well depending on you know how high you want it the ball itself is actually quite hard I thought it was going to be kind of soft a bit like the ones that you attach the wall but it, it's actually quite hard so I would advise wearing MMA gloves or boxing gloves just because you may find it may hurt your knuckles a little bit if you are go if you are wanting to do it bare but uh but it's better if you do with gloves or whatever because you might just knuckles who wants sore knuckles <laughs> basically so do bear that in mind but other than that it's all right so as well just to know of how this works so it reflexes so you hit it and it'll bounce back towards you um how much it bounces back towards you depends on how hard you hit it so the harder you hit it the more it's gonna come at you so like you know so so basically it acts like a person in a way because it moves around whereas a heavy bag doesn't so that's why i find it's good to work good to use one of these if you want to practice on footwork and then if you want to practice on how heavy you hit and that sort of thing then that use a like a heavy bag but yeah first time using a speedball and i actually really like it um i still would want to get a heavy bag bag in the future just for me to practice on hitting heavy um but this is great if you want to um you know not hit light there's, there's you can hit heavy but obviously be careful because they're not going to last as long that's not what it is for it's more like a technical sort of thing whereas a heavy bag you can hit as hard as you as hard as you want but yeah that is basically it for this review so bye guys